Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Uh, today, vintage sleaze and heartfelt memoirs. It's my weekly wrap up. So before I start, this is your final, final chance to uh, submit a video for my Happy Garb August video, uh, which will go up on the 1st of August. So if you don't know, Garb August is my reading event where we celebrate reading trashy books. I like as many people to be part of it as possible. Um, and so every year I do a video for the 1st of August where I have you know other booktubers and viewers uh, and you know subscribers and things like that just saying Happy Garb August. So if you'd like to be part of that video, all you need to do is film yourself saying Happy Garb August and upload that clip to the uh, Google Drive uh, folder that I will include a link to in the description to for this video. So simple as that and I'll stitch all of those clips together into um, a video which will go up on the 1st of August. Um, right so let's talk about what I've been reading this week and once I've done that I'll talk a bit about what's been on the channel and what's coming on the channel. So it's not been a great reading week for me again. I think when I spoke to you last Saturday I was in a similar position. It's been a very busy week at work. I've had stuff going on outside of work and I just haven't been able to focus on reading as much as I normally do. So I've only finished four things this week. Uh, one of those was a volume of manga and two of them were, um, you know, were quite short novels. Um, so there's only one kind of lengthier book that I finished this week. Uh, that was um, Eleni by Nicholas Gage, uh, which I was reading when I filmed this video last week. So it's taken me a while to get through this. And it is a long book. It's over 600 pages and it's quite dense as well. So it's a, a non-fiction book. It's about uh, this woman, Eleni, who's the mother of the author, um, who was executed during the, the Greek Civil War. Um, but before being executed, managed to get her children out of Greece uh, and over to America where their father was living. Um, so Nicholas, one of those children, grew up to be an, invest an investigative reporter um, and ended up, you know, kind of making it his mission to, to find out why his mother um, was executed and who was involved in that, you know, that execution. So it's a very moving book at times. It's beautifully written at times. There's a few passages that were, you know, really, really moving. Um, but it is a it is a little bit long, um, and I did I did struggle with it a little bit because of the length. But overall, a really you know an important book about a uh, you know a war that took place in Europe that we tend to forget about, um, and one you know uh, which had many victims, including Eleni. So you know a very moving and interesting book. Um, so glad that I read that. That the other novels that I finished then were Beheaded by Guy and Smith and J R Park which I, I think I was reading when I filmed this video last week. Um, so that was a fairly cheesy uh, horror novel. Um, so Guy and Smith's last book, um, Guy and Smith being a you know, very well-known British horror author who wrote for, for decades. Um, I did do a review of that where I viewed both, reviewed both that and Guy and Smith's first book, which is a werewolf book. Um, so that's up on the channel should you be interested in that. But yeah, it was a fun, light horror read. Nothing amazing, but it was, you know, it was definitely quite entertaining at times. Um, also finished uh, volume nine of uh, Berserk uh, by Kentaro Miura, uh, which was excellent. So this was a really, really good one. Um, there was a uh, an event in this book that, that the, um, the story has been building up to for a while in terms of two particular characters. So that was really good. And there was, and it, I thought it was very well handled that event. If you've, if you've read the series, you'll probably know um, the thing I mean it involves a flashback as well, which was like quite disturbing and, and moving. So um, I really, really enjoyed that. I now need to buy some more volumes of Berserk because I've exhausted all the Berserk I've got. Um, so I might have to go on Amazon later on and, and pick up the next couple of volumes of these huge, heavy uh, deluxe editions. Um, and then also finished uh, this morning, um, The Italian Connection by Glenn Chase, uh, aka uh, Gardener Francis Fox. So this is the first of the Cherry Delight uh, Sexecutioner books. So it's a very 
cheesy, sleazy, uh, vintage smut books written in, I think, the 70s, um, a kind of, I suspect, to an extent, cashed in on the, the success of the Executioner books, which I talk about on the channel quite a lot. So the Executioner is, a, a, you know, like a one-man army going up against the, the mob. Um, in, the, in these books, Cherry Delight um, works for a... Um, an organisation uh, whose initials are uh, NIMFO, uh, which stands for something like the New York Mafia Protection and something organisation. So basically a, a, an organisation that's fighting the mafia um, and Cherry Delight fights the mafia basically by having sex with loads of different people. Um, it was very funny at times, not intentionally, I think, just the description of the sex and some of the some of the words that the author chose to use to describe particular uh, parts of the human anatomy were very, very funny. So I did have a good time with it. I have got a paper copy. Um, so that's on Kindle Unlimited, should, should you want to read it. Um, I have got a... Um, a paper copy of Hot Rocks, which is book eight in the series. Um, the second book in the series is is definitely on Kindle Unlimited. I don't think they're all on Kindle Unlimited, but some of them are. So I might I might give the second book um, where she goes up against some some Chinese mobsters. Um, I might give I might give that one a go at some point, but I'm not going to rush into it. So yeah, it was it certainly made me blush a bit at times, but it also it also made me laugh a lot. Um, so that's what I, I have read. So yeah, not a great deal this week, to be honest. Um, so currently still reading Charlie's War by Pat Mills and uh, Joe Calhoun, which is a British war comic from the 80s um, about a young soldier in the First World War. So it's taking me a long time to read that, but I'm determined to finish it by the end of the month. So reading that for, for Booktube at War, obviously, um, as as was Eleni. So Eleni I read for Booktube at War as well. So yeah, going to try and get that finished by the end of the month. So that I think that will be probably my reading focus for the rest of today and tomorrow. Um, and then I did have a couple of other things on my TBR for Booktube at War, including um, The Dirty Dozen by E.M. Nathanson, but I think I'm just not going to be able to get to that because it's like, I suspect it's quite easy reading, but it's over 500 pages and I don't think I'll have time to finish that before that before the month is out and I want to make sure I've got the decks cleared for, uh, for Garb August on the 1st of August. So I've got um, this book... Uh, the Naked and the Deadly by Lawrence Block, uh, which I think I'm going to start. So this was very kindly sent to me by the publisher, Bob Dice. So this is a collection of stories and articles by Lawrence Block, who's a, who's a writer I really, really like, that were published in kind of pulp men's adventure type magazines in, in the 50s and 60s. So lots of uh, kind of nice illustrations and things like that in this book, as well as the, the stories and articles. So I'm, I think I'm going to read this next. And then I've also got a stack of manga. So I talked a bit about Berserk, but I've been neglecting manga a bit recently. So I've got uh, a couple of volumes of Monster and three volumes of Blood on the Tracks that I want to get to as well, because I've, I've not read either of these series for a while um, and I've been really, really enjoying both of them. So I think that will be my um, my reading for the rest of the rest of the month. Um, I'm also I forgot to say also listening to um, the Grey Man by Mark Greeny, the first of his Grey Man novels, which is a, um, a really enjoyable. Um, I have to say, so a thriller about this kind of super assassin who's on the run, basically. So it's really really cheesy. It it does use lots of stereotypes. The audio book. Um, the guy uh, who's doing the narration keeps trying to do accents, which <laughs> typically he doesn't do a great job of. So his British accents in particular are very amusing, but he's also done some dodgy South African accidents, uh, ac accidents, well, they were accidents, accents. Um, and at one point, um, like was acting as like an eight-year-old British girl, <laughs> which just sounded very strange indeed but the book itself is enjoyable there's some fantastic action sequences the action scenes are really really well done so i will continue listening to that i think i'm about two thirds of the way through it so i may get that finished up by the end of the month it may kind of trickle over into garp august but um that's i, I tend to have an audiobook on the go for when, like when i'm doing chores or exercising and things like that um, right, so that's the book stuff out of the way. In terms of the channel then, so um, a few videos over the last week, uh, well one, one a day. Um, so I did a, uh, a video about these books, the, the Witches series by uh, James Dark, a British uh, kind of sleazy horror series from the 80s. 
Um, I also did uh, a review of a disturbing book, Womb, by Duncan Ralston, which I didn't particularly enjoy. Um, I did a video, as I said, about Guy and Smith, so reviews of his first and last books and kind of a bit of a comparison between them. I've done my um, Garb August TBR, so the, the books I'm intending to read in August to tick off all of the Garb August prompts. Uh, I did a video about the challenges of separating the art from the artist and why that can be difficult sometimes. Um, and I also, unusually for the channel, did some movie reviews. So I did a video where I reviewed Barbie uh, and Oppenheimer, which I, I went to see during the week with my son. Um, really enjoyed both those films and enjoyed doing a different kind of review on the channel as well. Um, so And people seem to have quite enjoyed that. People seem to have quite enjoyed hearing me talk about movies. So if that's something you'd like to see more of on the channel, do let me know. Um, in the week ahead then, I've not got too much planned out yet. However, there will be a video going up tomorrow, which is a bit of an announcement about some changes uh, coming to the channel and the reasons for those changes. Um, I'll also do my July wrap up in the coming week um, and that Happy Garb August video uh, that I've talked about already. And if I manage to get this finished, um, I'll do a review of this as well. So this feels ap appropriate for Garb August. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get this finished and get a review of this up on Thursday. So yeah, that's what I've been reading this week. Let me know in the comments what you've been reading. Um, hope you've had better reading weeks than me. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.